Hi friends, it's Angie. It's Friday. Is it the 4th of March? Yeah, 4th of March 2022. Uh, beware the Ides of March. Um, I, I, I feel like um, even though I've got personal issues going on, this is not a light in my face, it's natural. You know, it's just the way the cabin is. So it's an update of sorts because despite my personal situations, I feel a burden of duty to those who support me and thank you so much to those who do. You know, I have an annual goal as a semi-retired journalist of 6,000 euro a year. And um, I think my GoFundMe has been up a year and a half, but look, we're nearly there. We're, we're at 5,000 something. And I'm hugely grateful to those who've contributed. And, um, you know, if you can, I work a lot. Um, and uh, I don't work for any corporation. So I'm an independent, semi-retired journalist, as well as everything else. So I want to do an update. I haven't done one, I think, December, January, February. I haven't done one for three months. There's been a lot of personal trauma and drama going on. And I know that everybody has lived in that place, actually, for two years. Um, it took a long time for the current or the now over psychological operation, you know, I managed to keep stable throughout it all because I realized right from the get go, you know, I saw event 2019 and, and ID 2020. I was like, I was well researched, but it find it. I did do believe I did get, you know, a long term pneumonia, um, and you might call it long C. And I was quite ill, but you know, God keeps keeping me alive. So I'm just gonna, but what I'm gonna do is just a working video. If you don't have the patience, find another video. Uh, if you do, put your headphones on and multitask. I'm just gonna go through some updates. Um, uh, to the best of my ability without sharing screen like the only thing I'll share screen on is actual links because I don't want to dox people and one of the funniest things that came out of the last week and I don't know why I have got an external microphone but I haven't been using it if this if genuine people that I know long-term subscribers tell me that the audio on this is bad, I will start using <laughs> my sparkly karaoke microphone. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know if this is, I will plug it in and charge it up. So if the audio is bad on this, we'll start using the microphone. Um, but it's always been okay before. So um, the first ridiculous thing I want to report on and I haven't made any notes but is spin versus truth some blog called the unintelligent services has done a ridiculous article reporting that myself and Andy Devine have teamed up with somebody called Sean blah blah um, trying to identify the Sean that was brave enough to do a zoom with me last week which Andy didn't even appear on so I just want to say that's utter disinformation. And for a blog that calls itself Spin Versus Truth to put out that they've identified the Shan and then completely not identify the Shan is, you've got to see the irony. So that's a link I will share, but I haven't lined it up. I don't want to, right, without screen sharing, I'm going to go to my Gmail. Um, and then I'll uh, I'll line it up as a link and just you know I am 64 and I do sometimes accidentally right here we go okay uh, here it is now let me open the link read more of this post lack of intelligence uk.com <laughs> by troll exposure and they're the ones putting out the misinformation. So I'll temporarily 
close my Gmail. And what's the other thing I could close? Yeah, okay, so that's the only thing. So this is going to be a working a working video. So now we'll go share screen. Um, and I'll show you. I don't really want to give them any um any you know traffic, but it's so hilarious I have to share it with you. So here we go. <laughs> right, 100, 110, 125. Right. It was it was brought to our attention over the last week or so that Angela Power Disney and Andrew Crow Andrew Devine have secured the services of Sean Gissing McMeal in their various attacks on UK family courts. Uh, so Bernard Mumby, who was the head of the UK family courts, I think he might have retired, himself said they needed reform. They were not fit for purpose. This is not myself and Andrew Devine undermining the UK family court system. We're just two voices out of thousands saying it's being abused, misused and um, uh, unfit for purpose, as said Sir Bernard Mumby. So take it up with him instead of making up. Now I'm going to give you a bit of the background on who they think the Sean was that I did a Zoom with last week and with whom I had a face to face. You know, she only went audio only for the Zoom, but we spoke for half an hour before. And I can assure you it is not this lady that you were, you were trying to imply it was. So here we'll go on with this propaganda, which, you know, pretends to be truth. So Sean Gissing McMeal. Gissing McMeal in videos attacking social services workers and legal experts, claims to be a legal investigative journalist. She's nothing of the sort. She probably is, so so let's give her a plug because you know, good is evil and evil is good in these people's paradigm. She's also claiming to be a public advocate and in doing so has made some very serious and likely criminal acts. We're going to explain some background first before getting to the guts of that specific claim. <laughs> Her legal experience is limited to less than a year as a paralegal secretary in Sale, Cheshire, and two separate law courses, neither of which seem to have been completed. Law courses last five years, not two, as she's claimed she... Oh, I lost it. Where did that go? We'll find it again. Sorry. Yeah, got it back up. Um, anyway, so, so they're trying to discredit, as they do, this is what they do. Anybody trying to get the truth out gets an operation on them, looking for dirt and trying to discredit to prevent truth coming out. Uh, Sale Cheshire, blah, blah. Gissing McMeal, please contact me, actually. I'm sorry you got misidentified as the Sean that engaged with myself, but... Um, Sounds like, you know, you might be doing some good work. Kissing McMeal really runs a design address shop in Clifton, Bristol. That's very interesting. Clifton, Bristol, if you can still find Hookstead Exposed, Uncloaked, Hookstead Uncloaked, Bristol, Clifton, yeah, very interesting. Also, like I'm going from memory here, Kill Rush Guitars, no, that's more like Surrey. That's more like possibly the guy that assaulted John Patterson outside Southwark Crown Court and the police did nothing. But I'll try and find my Hoaxdead Uncloaked. There's two videos and they worked really hard to get them taken down. But Clifton Bristol, yes, it, it's 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 part of the network. Okay, she doesn't have background laws, blah, blah, beauty, blah, blah. So why is she involved with APD and Divine in the first place? She's not. <laughs> We've never heard of her. <laughs> well, it would appear that Gissing McMeal has a little history of her own with the family courts and a battle with a specific judge, Miles Watkins, who's also the judge in another unrelated family case, which she has taken up the baton for with APD and Divine. This is all lies, absolute lies. But Miles Watkins, because they're raising his name, to the many, many researchers that, that give me information, let's have a look at Miles Watkins, judge. 
Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Getting used to this new computer. Right. Um, well, Intelligence UK isn't a UK registered company to start with. It's based in Costa Rica, blah, blah. So they're trying to be super clever. You should also note this disclaimer on the website, which has nothing to do with Andy or I, or the spotlight on Hampstead or Anglesey as the two biggest cover-ups in, in our, you know, in this century and the last one. Uh, private intelligence agencies in the UK are required to have a license. Intelligence, blah, 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 blah. Kissing me the claims she's deeply involved, blah, blah. Okay, we don't know her. You should also note her article on LinkedIn about SRA at the bottom of the above screen grab. The article which she posted around a month ago linked to Archer and Wong, etc. Now, I've made it clear. I don't believe Jeanette Archer's backstory. I think she's part of a PSYOP to discredit real satanic ritual abuse survivors. Um, I believe, these, these are just my beliefs. I believe John Wedge has always been undercover, never retired, um, and is equally put out, you know, as a, as a sting or psyop to discredit real survivors. I believe Carl Beach and Andrew Ash were genuine survivors, but we're of the very small minority that do actually get so wounded or scared or something um, that they either re-exhibit some of the abuse that happened to them or they take the dollar. But I suspect Ben Fellows took the golden dollar, which is, you know, here, fuck off and stay quiet kind of thing. Um, those are just my thoughts. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, but um, so Archer, don't quote Archer. And even sadly, this breaks my heart to say, I'm kind of 90% convinced that Wilfred Wong is not a good guy and is not a genuine Christian. I, I, I wish I was wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Talking of Wong, the separate family law case, which Gissing, McMillan and Divine have taken the exception to. <laughs> It's a case of Jason Wong in Nottingham. One has to wonder if there's a family connection to Wilfred Wong. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Look, look, uh, Andrew, Andy, I should have run me before this. We had such a terrible time connecting on Zoom uh, a couple of days ago. I just thought, let me catch up. Back to Sean Gissing McNeil, which I don't, I've, I, I watch Andy's work. I don't think he's interviewed any Sean. She's also left a trail of failed businesses behind her. Oh, yeah, clever. Her specialism in family law leaves a lot to be desired, by the way. For instance, in videos attacking legal experts in Nottinghamshire Council, Gissing McNeil makes some very serious legal flaws. Uh, you see, law affairs, this is the OTO thing. This is why, even though it's kind of shocking, I like interacting with Luke. Because the lawfare aspect of the agenda is rising, believe you me. Family courts outlaw are confidential where they concern the custody access of children. There's a reason for this to protect the safety of the children. Actually, it protects uh, the offenders, not, not the children. The children, in many cases, are so wounded, uh, the least of their worries um is 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 their identity and i can say that as a survivor you know i wouldn't care who knew my name if i'd been rescued as a child uh blah blah got some notification not by us by the way it seems that material which should have remained confidential and subject to contempt proceedings if not has appeared online potentially wrecking jason wong's case i don't know anything about this case and also putting Gissing, McNeil and Divine at risk of contempt for court charges. Given what they've published, those charges are likely to follow in our view. Uh, and your view is clearly not very uh, valuable. However, Gissing Michael isn't entirely being honest with the public about her spat with Watkins. It's pretty clear why Gissing Mike McNeil would have a problem with Watkins. If one of her own extended family had testified against her in the family courts, we're making an assumption there. Oh, yes, you are making an arse out of you and me. However, McNeil isn't exactly a widespread surname. The website above, intelligenceuk.com, 
also targets many other UK judges. Oh, the poor judges getting targeted. <laughs> In a similar way to that of Richard Carver. It's run, it seems, by an individual named Paul Millinder. How do we know? <laughs> well, there's enough information on the website to suggest so, notably in the About Us page. See, this looks so professional. This is misinformation, people. Oh, God. Right. Millinder lost his battle with Middlesbrough Football Club over the wind turbine case in which the judge of the case made some very pertinent observations which mirror the content of the Intelligence UK website and also some of the conduct of its contributors like Gissing McNeil. Blah, 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 looking very intelligent. Quote, the case is a classic example of a litigant in person getting the problems he faces out of proportion. Mr Millinder always thought, perhaps still does, that he was right and everyone else was wrong. Instead of bringing straightforward court proceedings to try to establish his company's claims or appealing orders he wanted to challenge, he made a series of ever more unmeritorious, knowing that's a word, but never mind, applications, wasting the time of the court, of judges, of civil servants, of lawyers and others. Do you not think you're doing that? Do you not think you're wasting a lot of people's time? My God. Sounds a lot like Richard Carlath, doesn't it? Nope. Even more so when you also take into account a bullet point from the screen grab immediately above. Attempts by Mr Millen to, ha to, to have lawyers, judges, court officials and the official receiver arrested and prosecuted for fraud, blackmail and corruption you know, might have been really valid. So to get around this, Mr Millender is criticised by the presiding judge who has upheld an order barring him from making further legal claims. Yeah, this is what they did to Ben Gilroy in Ireland and they may have done it to... Patrick Cunningham as well, a, a, a lay litigant who keeps having success in the courts, even like Edward Ellis and Neela Berry, they can be just banned. You can't, you can't take any further legal action. You're, you're a nuisance. <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm a nuisance because I, I'm, I'm calling you out, not me. But like these people are, are, are trying to hold those in the judiciary and the legal professions to account. That's not undermining the secret family court system, which, which you know, has been declared unfit for purpose by those in very good position to say so. That's calling to account public servants who, who you know, on behalf of mothers and fathers whose children are unrighteously stolen. The risk of future emotional harm is one of the most outrageous, ridiculous, uh, underhand laws to ever have been introduced. Um, you know, you're lying, basically, I'm saying to this blog world, you're lying. You're lying or you're stupid, I don't know which. Offshore, it would appear Milner has set up an offshore company. Oh, well, let's look into Hampstead. Let's look into Barbara Kahan, and now now deceased, but company still being set up in her name, even after she was deceased, and and whose uh, offspring are carrying on the Finchley Road scandal, um, and um, you know, look at the Hatton Garden heist, look at UK fraud and corruption, look at the research into the money laundering going on from Finchley Road and um, surrounding areas, you know, company's house. No, blah, 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 blah. One can only imagine how the police will now react to the exposure of Gissing McNeil and Divine's conduct, but also by Gissing McNeil involving it herself with the dodgy site of Intelligence UK. In a way that it's very personal, it seems, then Milder may also find himself back in a UK court of law before too long. I think I might write, might ring Andy live on the phone. It's very clear that Millinders of the variety of individual, well, I should say individuals, who won't accept court decisions. His website actively, therefore, incites attacks on court officials, including judges. Whoa, that's a big allegation. Kissing McNeil and Divine. 
which is obviously where Gissing McMillan and Divine come into play. Where the hell did my name come into this? I had a guest called Sean last week on a Zoom. Nothing to do with this Sean McNeil. What? 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 Like, <laughs> you know, if I had a little pot and the desire to be litigious, I think I might be coming after you for this article. Right. Uh, it's also very likely that Divine's been supplying information to Milinder's site too. We'll prove kissing Michael's McMeal's connection to Intelligence UK shortly. These offshore individuals are problematic to UK law enforcement. How about Tony Blair? How about Karen Irving? How about Ricky Dearman? How about Barbara Kahn and her offspring? You know, if you really want to look into the Panama Papers, the Finchley Road scandal, Gordon Bowden's um, uh, explosive uh, evidence, forensic evidence before he died, and after he submitted to special branch telling him that people can fall out of windows, uh, have a look at that. Do some proper research. She may, may also wish to consider whether grifting for donations on the back of potentially fraudulent claims, potentially, see how clever that is, of legal expertise is wise. This is a threat. This is intimidation. Especially when she's made some very serious and false allegations concerning what constitutes contempt of court to a legal expert at Nottinghamshire Council. Most Nottinghamshire is so corrupt. God bless Mickey Summers. God bless him. The most gissing McNeil should be is a Mackenzie friend and acting pro bono on any advice she gives. Asking for donations or charging for such advice puts things on a completely different legal level. As for the technical around board already, right? All as I'll try to go a bit further, but I'm bored. You know, it, they're they're lying. As for the technicality of what constitutes contempt of court, all contempt of court charges need to prove. Miss Gissing McNeil are that material subject to court proceedings, which was restricted official sensitive or even private and confidential has made its way into the public domain without express permission of the court. One would have thought that someone with so-called legal experience and as a legal investigative journalist would have understood the basics of contempt issues, whatever the helpful site that we are, and then blah, blah, blah. Um, sometimes the law is an arse and the only way we get laws changed is by objecting or challenging them. Um, D notices do some research on what they were intended for. My grandpa served in World War I, my English grandpa, and my uncle served and died in World War II. My mother was, uh, what's it they called it uh, when they sent you out of London during the Blitz? There's a word, it begins with E. Anyway, she was sent away unaccompanied, far away from London, evacuated, that's the word, evacuated for four years. Um, and D-notices are not to cover up absolute malfeasance in office, uh, injustice, impropriety by judiciary and uh, even judges, sorry to say. That's not what a D-notice is for. So if an injustice takes place where a D notice is exploited, which they often are lately, um, then I think it's absolute justice to challenge that. I, I'm not gonna share any more of this. I will try and ring Andy live, just to, you know, clearly they've lied saying Angela Power Disney's working with Sean McNeil, who I've never heard of. But let's just see if Andy, just he, he's always busy, he's, he gives all his time to other people. Just in case he's online, let's see if he knows anything about this person. Oh, look, he called me and I missed it. Right, let's just see if he knows. Uh, go on then, Andy, let's see if you're there. I hate, I hate these working videos. Hello? Yeah, have you got a quick minute, Andy? I'm doing I'm doing a recording and I want to check something with you. Did you 
Did you read the link I sent you of a ridiculous article saying that you and I are working with a Sean McMeal? Do you, do you, I know I haven't worked, I've worked with a Sean and continue to, but that's not her name. I know, I know very well, yeah. Right, so have you, uh, have you done videos with Sean McMeal? Yeah. I wonder if I can help you be heard. Okay, good. So, so this article then has wrongly accused me of working with her. But do you want to just say for the record while I'm recording uh, uh, who she is and what work you've done with her? Because I've missed it. I haven't done any work with with her. Yeah, you can do. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Speak. You're you you're like I'm I'm recording. Oh, you're recording now. Oh, I thought you were about doing a Zoom. Yeah. yeah, I am doing a Zoom. I'm not live. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. No. Okay. So he, he called them up to ask him about it, and that's when he got in touch with Sean. And uh, Sean was at, the, at that point in time, she had um, escaped to Greece. She'd gone over to Greece because they was uh, trying to arrest her. They they took her three children off her as well. Oh she no. She was married. She was married to a, uh, a QC. He, he who became a QC and then therefore became into the brotherhood. But Sean had exposed um, uh, uh, child sex trafficking and um, Freemasonry. Right. And uh, obviously, with the looks of things and what we can see, is that he's now been told to silence her. So he's took her kids off her. Oh. He's uh, divorced her, took her house off her, everything. Oh, stripped her from everything. God. So, okay. Uh, and this is that Miles Watkins that was working with her husband, who was a QC. Her right. husband at the time, they're now divorced. Right. So uh, Sean helped him. Sean, Sean wrote him a letter to get Miles Watkins to recuse himself from that case, which okay. he didn't. And if you haven't heard the, uh, the trial, because uh, Jason recorded the trial. Wow. And the, the, the recording I put out um, with uh, a, a, a claimer, a claimer in there, that anybody claiming that this is um, contempt of court by airing this, then produce the material evidence to substantiate there was ever a case in the first place because yeah, yeah. it's never been substantiated. Yeah, There's yeah. never been a um, claim written by a man or woman who's ever brought, who, who's ever f attached that to a filing fee, a, a filing an application to create a court case, or there's never been a filing fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no court case. These are yeah. the complete scams. Yeah. So uh, that's been put out. And uh, Sean also... Uh, because when we put that out, Jason then got another sham piece of paper come through the door with no seal, no letter on it, threatening him yeah. um, to uh, get it taken down or be contempt of court. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they've not met the they've not met the conditions. And then Sean also then um, wrote, uh, phoned the uh, the alleged accuser of this or the alleged creator of this piece of paper because we don't know because he wasn't authored. There was no signature on it and there was no seal, but it looked like it. It was coming from the council, yeah, to, yeah. to, to remove it, giving him 24 hours. Oh, God. So that's that's the uh, the crust of what all, all that is. All right, well, that's uh, cleared that up a little was, bit. J right. Just just from the human perspective, what age are Sean's children, and is she still in Greece, stripped of everything? No, she's, she's gone. She went back to England to fight for them, so she went back because there was meant to be a court case on, but that was another sham court case. That oh, went down. God. Um, she went to the school. Because uh, 
her ex is going, you know, there, there was there was issues with the school. Yeah. She went down to see the school and, and they are completely, because you understand when true masons come in. Oh, they absolutely. They control of everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, she's, um, she's a complete victim. She's being victimised by the whole lot. Wow. And she just, um, she wanted, she wanted to help because it was the same judge that had, um, He's, he's, he's got a he's got a record anyway. They've already reported him for what he had already previously done to her. Yeah, you know so, that you know, you he's, know he's the... even beyond there. He's a he's a he's a crook. Yeah, we stop. we need to. And do... I showed in the video, yeah, that he's got two different names on companies, asked for two different companies. Yes, there you go. Two different companies again. I mean, it's, they're all scams. Really. Yeah, all... I said that in this video that Finchley Road and Gordon Bowden's work and uh, UK fraud and corruptions work. It, it's it. it they have to follow it's the property. money. It's, you know, these, they've all got property businesses. They've got all this because you know what they're doing. They're, these are pirates. These are all pirates in their foreign yeah. vessels in dry dock that people believe are caught. Yeah. That are fleecing and stripping everything. Yeah. Set stealing, Man, stealing. Child. Yeah. They're taking the children. They're taking their property. And this yeah. Thing they're yeah. They think they're going to go the way they go through this sham court system. Yeah. To yeah. strip the people of this world. So this so, this uh, ridiculous that, blog. Who is that? Uh, who was that uh, creator of that? Uh, I've sent that, you the link, that. and I'm going to put the video up shortly. I've seen, I've seen it. I've yeah. Well, well, this I've sham blog is audience. saying that you and I are on a, a campaign to undermine the family court system of the UK, um, and I said Sir Bernard Mumby, who was the head of the family court system, himself said that it was not. It needed reform. It was not fit for purpose. You know, and and the evidence it is. Isn't, uh, it is. I mean, at the end of the day, you didn't know anything about it. I know anyway. So, yeah. and, and it's nothing to do. I mean, she is basically. She. I mean, the reason why I helped because I was already helping Jason anyway. Now, what the, so, the other thing, this blog, the Anthony, other thing. I helped myself and Anthony had offered. Um, yeah, to help as well. Help. Let me just ask you this. And they're you... saying about money, by the way. They're all saying about money. Yeah, let me just ask you this. Zero money's been involved. Yeah, I know. I know. I know you've used inheritances and so have I to do what we do, you know, so it's not about grifting at all. But what age are Sean's children? Um, I think one's, I think it's eight. Oh. I, I, I can't say, I couldn't tell you for sure. Just one, roughly. One's, see, one's her child. Yeah. One is her child from a previous and two are with the one that's, that's doing this. And the one, the eight-year-old, this is the one that she's scared to death uh, her, uh, her her ex now her ex oh, now God. Um, because he's uh, he's a serious alcoholic he's drinking heavy very heavy drinking and uh, he he scares her and, and he's got and he's got the children body. has he got the children yeah oh God so yeah, they're young the usual, all right the usual thing you know it's the whole lot I mean don't forget he's a QC yeah 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 and the other question is this article I'm bored with it now so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But this article is saying, is it possible that Jason Wong is related to Wilfred Wong? <laughs> uh, that's like saying, if you go to New York... Is, is, is it Homestead? Is it, is it Homestead? No, no, it's called um, Spin versus Truth or something. But, um, yeah. yeah, Spin versus Truth. And, and they're spinning that I'm working with Sean because I featured somebody called Sean on a video last week. And and uh, like I could I could if I was litigious I could go after them just for saying that, but I didn't realise you were aware of Sean McMeal. So I think people need to look into her case and get behind her. I'm proud of her for coming Angie, back. Angie, Angie, as always, yeah. All publicity is good publicity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let yeah. so them substantiate their claims. I mean, I'm not sure what Sean or um, Intelligence.uk. I don't. I don't know Intelligence.uk. I don't know who that. I know that Sean's. Um, whether she's part of it or she helps, she's, she's certainly with with that. But, it's but else she's there. she's somebody who's had her children stolen and a house and stolen, stolen, and is trying to get her. She's a victim, and I I salute her for coming back from Greece to fight for her children, even though. Oh mate, mate, just watch your videos. Yeah. Watch your videos. Well, pa if you can. When I upload Rob, Dominic, Dominic Rob, yeah, did a fucking tip staff on people to get her arrested, mate. Oh, they God. They disgusted. All right. She's, she's documented everything. She's beautiful, mate. All right. She's absolutely beautiful. Well, when I upload this video, as well. when I upload, Honestly. when I upload this video, will you please put links to her work? Or Sean, if you hear this, can you put links to your work under my video? I allow links to be posted in comments 
So please post oh. any links in comments under my video, this one that I'm going to upload. And just a final thing, um, I'm getting, I need to do an update on Angle C, but um, you know the, the judge, Nicola Jones, that, that um, put the mother of child X or A away for 15 years? In Anglesey, yeah. the judge has just been promoted by the Queen to the Circuit Court. <laughs> it's like, oh, job well done. Just like, just like Anna Porfley, only she took early retirement and went to Israel. Well, she got, yeah, she yeah. got a, what was it, five million bong or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like nice that. little retirement. Yeah, job well done. All right, we'll catch up soon, yeah. and hopefully we'll have a better. Mate, listen, mate, we're, we're, we stand under the truth, mate. We're not interested in nonsense. But whatever they come out with, it's, it's all good, mate. Yeah, because it works. Yeah, there's a there's a scripture. Yeah, it says in the Bible. Yeah, it says in the Bible what the devil means for harm, God will turn to good. And just to shout out, Sean Maguire's been um, in my home for the past I don't know six weeks, and he's due back in court on the sixteenth of March in Chewham, and he really needs some boots on the ground support. So uh, he's going to do. I think he's going to do a radio show with David Noakes in the coming week, but he's very. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's just come really, he's been released. Yeah, he? yeah, and he's agreed to come on um, out of the bag with Sean Maguire. But Sean, like myself, is reticent about his own situation, and I really think we need to put the word out. Anybody that can get to Tume on the sixteenth of March to support Sean, he's really pushing the envelope, and and and. Um, yeah, I mean, I tell you what, I tell you what. I'm, just with some other information I've got for him. Tell him to, I'll, I'll speak with him anyway, yeah. So I'll, I'll have a word with him. Yeah, uh, yeah, Sean, yeah. Just to uh, put something else in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, so uh, we're trying to get him stuff up stuff and running stuff. again without the bag, but he literally yeah, yeah, is, right. he's being hounded and hunted. <coughs> oh, we know he is, we know he is. Okay. Well, anybody who speaks the truth is safe. You know, <coughs> yeah. yeah, and it, and it yeah. Day, like, it's all, all well and good. I mean, I've seen what it is. I mean, I, whether they want to go. I can't, I don't have the time to mess around with these idiots. No, I know, I know. Of what they've done afterwards, like. Yeah. Like you say, at the end of the day, yeah, they've got to answer for what they said. All right. Yeah, I'm, with all the polls, you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, get, really... I'll get this uploaded in about an hour. And, um... Yeah, no, she's, oh, by the way, she's also standing, um, she's, she's going in because she wants to go in. So, I mean, what we've got now, we've got, we've got Chrissy Morris, we've got Colin Worrell, if, all, if we had enough people going in there to take them on, like, to remove the filter from inside with this with this alleged, well, this corporate government system, we can uh, we can have a nice clean clean job, can't we? Because we need some open and transparency. Because that's all we're here for. Well, I expect so, it. I expect it. She's, a... she's, uh, she's worked hard. She had um, Julian Coulthard uh, as well to uh, uh, help her out, giving her a lot of uh, prep to up exactly all the tax that was going to come onto her once she did this. So. She's um she's fully aware. She's um she's no pussy. I'm she not. Is no pussy. Okay, so she's good. So um, so let's like this line down. Let's like true true survivor and true fighter for the children and everybody okay. else's children. Okay. Right? So let's light so let well. let's light her up in my I've, comments. I've, 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 I've listened to her a lot, and I can't fault the lady. She's All she's, right. she's she's a true diamond for, for the truth for the truth uh, for the truth. Okay. Yeah. I I don't want to go into it, but I've got if it's the same Julian Coulthard that I've met. In Parliament Square, that was closely aligned with Belinda McKenzie. I've got red flags there, but that's a whole another conversation. It might not be the same guy we're referring to, but certainly. It may, it may well be, I mean, because remember, he split off and did everything. It was the same guy with knocking around with Patrick Cullinane as well, but yeah. Well, yeah, and I think he did some bad shit, but I like maybe some other people can, you know, put it in my comments. But she sounds end like. Of the a... day, mate. End of the day, this shit come out there about everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, darling, love you lots. Good advice to her, yeah? Have a lovely weekend. She's open, she's open. She put it all out there. Yeah, no, they, they, they've, tried to do, they've tried to do a hit piece on her, but by wrongly mentioning my name, they've shot themselves in the foot because now we've just lit her up as a good person. Okay. <laughs> and you know the, the, like, you know who's done this. You know who's done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean is going to be attacked coming from anywhere, but listen. She's, she's, she's been trained in uh, 10 years in, in, in lawyer. Like they're all yeah, they've tried to discredit. They've done a blog discrediting all her background. But just one final thing is that I, I haven't read the whole email and I don't want to gloat, but somebody that was trolling me very badly, um, he used to go by Muttley. He announced being a proud member of the Satanic Temple. 
but he's now renounced the satanic temple, uh, apologized to me and removed um, the most horrible video. So I just said, I don't even need to publish that. I, I, you know, respect for your apology. Apology accepted. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a lovely weekend. You too, Dan. Take All care. Right, God bless. Bye-bye. All right, well, that's good. That's cleared some stuff up. Um, so I'll leave this video, like, instead of doing a two-hour video, I'll leave that one as it stands. Um, and please light up my comments. I do filter them because of trolling, um, but I get them up with, usually within 24 hours. And then I'll, I'll follow up with more information, particularly about some very interesting royal, unexpected, unannounced visits to Anglesey during the trial of the mother, Anchor Hill, um, and the other defendants. Also, upcoming news, another one of the defendants has been told she's going to be released halfway through her sentence, and it's not one of the defendants that I'm uh, trying to be a voice for. So there's still mysterious goings on around that case. Keep an eye on it, and I will. I will do another video and keep doing my best, even through all the family issues I've got going on. I will try not to take my eye off the ball and keep the information coming in. I, I, like I said, I'm not flattering. I wouldn't be still online if it were not for subscribers and people contacting me and trusting me enough to give me evidence-based information. God bless people. And throw something in the GoFundMe, get me up to my goal. It's not, it's not, it's a very modest goal. How many journalists do you know that will, you know, will happily put these amount of hours in for um, 120 euros a week? And I haven't reached that goal. It doesn't matter if you can help, help. And if you can't pray, but pray anyway, that's more than anything else. God bless. Angela Teresa Power Disney on Facebook. Angela's Caches org, no apostrophe, C-A-C-H-E-S. And um, see the links below. Some of them, my bit shoot link's not working, but... Um, I'll fix it. My assistant is moving house today. So good luck with that. Uh, two people that have been very good to me are moving house today. And um, I hope to do another update with Luke on Sunday. I've been getting some really extraordinary perspectives on the Russia-Ukraine thing. So keep prayed up, people. And thank you for your prayers for me and your support.